I were joined now by one of the newest members of the Utah Jazz, Mieone. And uh, Mie, tell us a little bit about what this last week has been like. I'm sure it's been a bit of a whirlwind, a lot of excitement. But from the moment that you knew you were a member of the Utah Jazz to now, what's, what's it been like? Uh, it's been great. It's been the uh, best moment of my life was when I got drafted, for sure. And uh, got the call right before, and I was so relieved, excited, emotional. It was, it was great. So um, just getting out here and getting to work kind of really right away was been amazing. The facilities are amazing. The people here have been great to me, so can't complain. Life's been good past week. Yeah. What, what did you expect? I mean, what where did you set your expectations, I guess, going into the draft? Maybe some uncertainty there. So I guess what was that like up until the moment you were picked? Uh, I mean, it was pretty crazy. I knew I could really get picked anywhere in the second round. Different teams calling and different expectations here and there, but I never really let any at my expectations get too high for anything. I've always took everything I heard with a grain of salt because I've heard stories in the draft where people think they're going somewhere and think they're going this place and, and they end up not going there. With the 58th pick in the 2019 NBA draft, Mie Oni from Yale University. I just kind of try to level my expectations and prepare for anything, prepare to not be drafted, prepare to be drafted late first, late second, early second. So, I mean, I'm really happy with how things worked out. Wrestled away, stolen away, Oni takes flight. So when the Jazz said, hey, when they make the phone call, say, hey, we want to we want to select you. You're going to remember the Utah Jazz. Was that a bit of a shock for you? Uh, it was because I thought they wouldn't be able to trade back in. I, I knew they were pretty interested in me. I knew they liked me. Um, but um, also it didn't work out there. So I was like, uh, maybe they have other guys they worked out. So, But, I mean, just to hear that confidence from them and that they really believed in me to take me without working me out was really, really great. What have they told you since being picked? Maybe the expectations they have of you coming out here for a summer ball? Uh, they just said they just want me to play the game the right way and defend and make open shots really and not try to do too much, not try to prove that I can I can score like I did in college or anything, but I know my role is going to have to be defense first, so I'm focused on bringing that to the court. So your first impressions uh, of Utah, not having worked out here, you get picked, you come out here, what, what what's the first impression? Uh, I mean, it's great. It's a beautiful place. It's uh, very pristine, very very nice people. That's that was the main thing. I mean, going from coming from LA, everyone's not so nice in LA. It's not people won't stop you on the street and say hello, or people won't really like people don't care about the team as much. But here you can see that everyone loves the Jazz and everyone loves the team. So it's like it's great. I feel like I'm really gonna enjoy it here. Have you had any conversations with Quinn Snyder yet? And what has he told you? Uh, I have. I had a couple of conversations with Coach Snyder. Um, He's just told me to stay with the stay with the process and um, focus on the little things, and that I shouldn't worry too much about everything right now. That I should just go with the flow and keep absorbing, be a sponge, and and just take it day by day, get better every day. Well, good luck, Mia. Thank, Thank you. you. Appreciate it, Sam.